That's good enough. Hey guys, Robert here with Coastal GX, out here at South Padre Island with my buddy Sterling Lacey. Okay, you guys remember a few weeks ago, I put out a video using a land anchor from Smittybilt and I just, it was kind of like hit or miss. I wasn't doing it correctly, at least I don't feel like it was. So I put it up for sale. Sterling picked it up quickly and he said, hey man, I think I know how to use that thing. Do you know how to use that thing? Yeah. You yeah. feel confident? I feel confident enough I, I can do Oh yeah. man, look at that, I love confidence. And, and yeah. check it out, so that's what he's gonna be bearing. He's got his winch in the front. He's gonna try to bring it down as, as much as he can, and then we're gonna use the same land anchor just with Sterling's method. Let's see if that works, let's go. Try a little bit more, if you can. That's good enough. Yeah, it's up to the wheel. Okay, so we got it up to, you got it down to the wheel. That should be good enough. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. All right. So, okay, show me, what do you got yeah. over here? There it is. Yeah. You hold that? Yeah, of course. So it does come in a bag, guys. Remember, it comes in a bag, it's compact yeah. enough. It just has some very simple pieces here. But obviously the main thing that you need is going to be the winch and your uh, land anchor here. So talk to me, what, what do you, uh, where, where does the positioning come in? Where does the trick come in? So I've been messing with it. Yeah. Um, I tried it all different spots. It really, to me, it really doesn't matter where you put it. Really? It matters how far away the winch is. Oh. Yeah. So say if you're like real close up to it, you're not too far away. Yeah. It doesn't get the proper angle where it can dig itself into the sand. Oh. So you need to like be pretty far out to where you get the proper angle and then it'll dig itself in and then it catch. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then this one. Excuse me. Cool. There you go. All right. What do you say? You think uh, that's like what, like maybe 10 yards, not even? Yeah, so. Yeah, about some, 10 yards. It's pretty far, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So maybe has a real nice uh, wireless cable, but I uh, I think I'm running out of battery, so I gotta yeah, hook up to the. Yeah, you gotta, gotta be on the dependable side. Yeah. There you go. I could try the wireless feature out, see how, yeah. see where it works. Then you'll there. switch it up. Yeah. Disengage. Respool. Right. Back and uh, engage it. Right. Ah, it looks like it might work. Okay, cool. Pretty cool. Okay, we're gonna see it in action here. That's the angle he's taking right there. As you can see, the it's le legit buried over there. Digging in. Oh, 
I think I need to be a little bit farther out. Okay. Let's try that. You know, when I, when I started seeing it kind of work was when that front part was digging into the, the ground. Like it wasn't up, it was like kind of like buried. Oh, in. like backwards? Yeah. And I think that's the reason why they oh, have yeah. these angles. These, you see how it's got the three holes? Yes. Um, I tried playing with different ones, but maybe at, I don't know if it's at a steeper angle or, or like further this way so that this can become even further wedged. Uh, yeah, since there's no actual instructions, videos. Yeah, there's no the anything. Yeah, it's just like you're going in blind trying to figure this, uh, yeah. this, this up on your own, you know? And you really can't, you can't even get to this bottom hole, so. Let's try it there, see what All it right. does. You gotta remember guys, this is deep. The, the sand here is soft, as you can see. It is deep. I might be able to try it there. Yeah, you wanna tr keep trying there? Well, I might be able to pull myself out. Of it. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, it, it, the truck isn't neutral, right? Uh, it should be. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling him, uh, just make sure that it's a neutral. Obviously, in real case scenario, maybe you could be in there if it really engages you can go ahead and start pulling yourself out and then have the truck kind of go with you. So he's, he's giving it a try over there. Let's see if I can give him a hand right, so here. It's good there, Robert. Yeah? Yeah, it's good there. It'll grab. It's, it's coming out? Yeah, but Let's I see. gotta, I gotta uh, put it in drive. Uh-huh. And then kind of okay, drive it. out and then pull myself out. Okay. Yeah. You got slack. T tighten it, tighten it. You got a lot of slack, so it's you doing it, not the... Oh. Yeah. I wasn't paying attention to it. Yeah, my remote was cucking, uh, cutting out. Oh, okay, you're gonna switch it? Yeah. Well, it's buried enough. It's really buried. You can really tell. And it seems like he he is out. Of course, he he had to do a little bit of. I mean, it's a it's a mixture of different things, guys. He never engaged the four x four, and that's important to note. Never engaged four x four. It was a cooperation of still. He had to use the the, the rear wheels. You know, he had to accelerate there somehow, but. Show us over here, man, just how buried it is, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's and, buried. And I think... We'll go ahead and release it. Yeah. And I think the angle helped also. Yeah. So it's a combination of things. You have to play with it and see, you know, what exactly is going to help. But... Yeah, you can Yeah, see. it was significantly buried in there. And that angle appeared to work a lot better but yeah in an emergency guys in an emergency I think this would be a good idea you know if, if you're really traveling solo 
there's always been that question is is it going to work in the sand but you know there's different types of sand you got sand you know in the desert and then you have this type of sand i think you got it done bro yeah. all right man so i think we uh got some, some success over here if you really want something like this and you think it works for you just like for sterling go ahead and consider getting one of those